the project was envisioned um, many years earlier by the Florida Department of Transportation as a bypass to the city of Apopka. They had recognized the importance of this to the area. Uh, the Central Florida Expressway they stepped forward, said they would construct the project as long as they could put tolls on it. So the DOT saw this as a way to expedite construction probably by 10 years by turning it over to the Expressway Authority. It was broken into multiple segments. Um, we were selected for what was segment two, which was a three and a half mile length. It's a new alignment project. The bridges ranged from concrete beam type bridges and we had steel plate girder. Uh, the expressway puts a high priority on aesthetics. Their, their facilities are normally a notch above uh, what you normally see. We came up with the idea of an anchored end span bridge. By using the anchored end span, we used a, a haunched girder six feet deep at the center, nine feet at the, at the supports, as opposed to probably a 13 foot girder all the way across. So it gives a, a very nice slender appearance, particularly when 285 foot span. The end spans were encased by uh, concrete walls that we designed to match the retaining walls. So it looks like a one span bridge when in truth it's really a three span bridge. It was somewhat complex design since no one had done one in Florida before. We came up with some innovative ideas on how to tie it down and then how do we counterbalance these huge uplift forces. When the client tells you what they want and we're able to deliver a totally new manner, you know, it's, it's very satisfying.